Welcome, everybody. Parents and guardians, siblings, grandparents, relatives and friends, faculty and staff, members of our Board of Regents, all who today come to celebrate and support our graduates in your Dowd class of 2023. Thank you all. My name is J.D. Childs, and I have the great privilege of serving as the president of Bishop O'Dowd High School presiding this morning over our 70th annual commencement exercises in our 72nd anniversary year. This event is all the more poignant for me today for having my own graduate in this wonderful class. Shout out, CZ Childs. As well as this being my final Odell commencement. High school graduations are among the last universally embraced rites of passage for our young people who make the symbolic step today from adolescence into adulthood. And while they might not be fully grown, as they say, over these high school years, they have increasingly discovered their identity, their confidence, their conviction, and their competence, however maddening they can still sometimes be. Indeed, Education, from the Latin educare, is at once a drawing out from within, a recognition that our young people enter school already fully equipped, and that education unlocks a process of discovery of all the talents and dreams and narratives that lie inside each of these remarkable people. Simultaneously, our children learn in the context of their whole person education here at O'Dowd, to speak with their own voice, reflective of the values and identities that each family nurtures. Growing into adulthood, our children are challenged to make their learning a gift that can benefit the world as they increasingly emerge from the self-focus of adolescence into the world of adulthood, turning their mirrors into windows. Last night we gathered together at the baccalaureate mass and used explicitly Catholic signs and symbols to cherish and honor our young people, to enact community, and to make the claim that we are people of faith, that a commitment to goodness and generosity is transformative for our world. Today we come together in a different type of ceremony, the commencement a word that means beginning, but with more of a sense of let's get on with it. We love these young people ferociously. They are our future and our hope. And we acknowledge that this ceremony today is but a step along the way, a milestone, yes, and also a springboard to future possibility, one that creates in all of us a shared tender hope. 
However much the academics are important, what's always more important is who they are becoming and how they do that generously. Today is a family affair. It's a community event where each individual family lifts up and celebrates their new graduate this weekend. Have some fun. All of this is to say that honoring these young people this morning is holy activity. This is holy ground. And on behalf of our dad, on behalf of our community of educators, I'm grateful to share an honor in this joyful occasion with you all. I'm grateful to have served here at our dad these seven years. These newest adults, our dad graduates, are so dear. And so to all of you, to our graduates, we love you all and are so proud of you. We hope that you are proud of yourself. And now, after Father Jim Sullivan comes forward to lead our community in prayer, let's get on with it. Father Jim. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us all together today to celebrate the class of 2023 and to look forward together for their journey ahead. We cherish the lifelong love and support of parents, guardians, teachers, and family, and we ask that you continue to watch over these young people in all that they do. Lord, please recognize the boundless gratitude of these young people for their many blessings in their lives. Thank you for forming them into women and men committed to building a more just, joyful, and sustainable world. Bless and honor the close friendships they have made throughout the years and continue to inspire them to live a life for others. And finally, we bless the diplomas of the class of 2023. Through these diplomas, we acknowledge the years of commitment and dedication of students, parents, and faculty. We ask our Almighty God to bless these diplomas, to bless the lives of those who are to receive them, and to bless those who have faithfully handed forward the knowledge and wisdom passed down to them as teachers, mentors, and coaches. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This year's salutatorian was selected by a panel of O'Dowd faculty and staff for his inspiring message. Now it is my great pleasure to ask our salutatorian Jaleel Jones to come forward. <laughs> Jaleel will be attending Tuskegee University in the fall. Congratulations to Leo on being selected as this year's salutatorian. <sighs> Good morning and welcome, Mr. Childs, Dr. Evans, members of the Board of Regents, administration, faculty and staff, family, friends, honored guests, and the Bishop of Dowd graduating class of 2023. My name is Jill Jones, and I want to thank everyone for supporting us as a class of 2023, and for supporting the school and community of Bishop of Dowd. We appreciate you. Let me start by saying that my experience at Bishop of Dowd has been, in a word, interesting. When I came to a dad fresh out of middle school, I was apprehensive, awkward, excited, and immature. As if I was in a nature program, and I was a baby animal being pulled out of the womb into a bright new world. Like a baby animal, I had to hone my instincts, learn, change, and grow. I had to come to terms with things I didn't understand, and I also had to watch what I said and how I acted. Taking responsibility and learning from my mistakes was a huge part of transitioning into the ninth grade. If that wasn't challenging enough, our 10th grade year was the oddest ever. 
In March of 2020, Bishu Adal shut the down due to the COVID pandemic. And while, while we were supposed to come back during that month or even May, we unfortunately spent the rest of our time that year and the entirety of the next one in remote learning, getting virtually educated. Um, my initial thoughts were, process. The fourth season ends today. We look forward now to the spin-off series as we take our steps away from Odell and into our adult lives with new casts, settings, and development of our character away from home. As we head into this real world, we will learn everything we, uh, oof. As we head into the real world, we will use everything we have learned here to develop all the talents and gifts that we have. 
Wherever we end up in life, I know we will always shine. I would like to give special recognitions to Claude, Nairi, John again, Royce, Joaquin Diego, Cole, my family, Bernard, Willie, and Cam. Thank you all so much. I love you. My closing wish to the class of 2023 is to remember my favorite quote from Oscar Wilde, share in the morning announcements. Be yourself because everyone else is already taken. Thank you. Much love to you all and enjoy the ceremony. Next, Mr. Brian Judd will be announcing the General Activity Award. The General Activity Award is given to two seniors distinguished by scholarship, excellence in conduct, and their outstanding devotion to the school. They earn this honor through their participation in the community in both academic and co-curricular endeavors. They've shown a purposeful pursuit of knowledge in a process of self-development and service and demonstrated leadership and integrity with self and others. Congratulations to Audrey Awobate, who will be attending UCLA. And Solomon Lesson Schmidt, who will be attending Whitman College in the fall. This year's Loyalty Award goes to Cameron Hankins and Jesse Barrientos. Please come forward. The Loyalty Award is given to two seniors who support the student body, the staff, and parents. Remain up here. Hold on. Yep, come on. Stay up here for just a moment. The loyalty award is given to two seniors who support the student body, staff, and parents in carrying out activities demonstrated through service, leadership, and the willingness to give of themselves and recognize the inherent dignity of all humans. Congratulations to Cameron Hankins, who will be attending Loyola University of Chicago, and Jesse Barrientos, who will be attending UC Merced in the fall. Next, Associate Principal Ethel Burton will present the Scholar Athlete Awards. Good morning. I am pleased to present the Scholar Athlete Award to Julian Massonat and Michael Fusinati. Please come forward. The Student Athlete Award is given to two seniors who have distinguished themselves through constant excellence in academics and athletics. With a passionate appreciation of the love of God, of self, of others, and the gift of life, these athletes demonstrate good sportsmanship in an athletic endeavor in all athletic endeavors. Congratulations to Julia Massinet, who will be attending Emory University, and Michael Fusinati, who will be attending UC Santa Cruz in the fall. Yeah. 
Next, we have President Charles and a board member who will be presenting the next award. Thank you. I'd like to, um, to welcome Francine Anthony, uh, Vice Chair of our Board of Regents, up here to help me present um, the Regents Awards. And this year, the Regents Award winners are Joanne Barbera and Mariah Branscombe. If you please come up. Congratulations, Mariah. Great. The Regents Award is given to two seniors who most exemplify the mission of Bishop O'Dowd High School to educate students to build a more just, joyful, and sustainable world. Congratulations to Joan Barbera, who will be attending UC Santa Cruz, and Mariah Branscombe, who will be attending UC Berkeley this fall. Let's Congratulations to all of our award recipients. Now I have the honor of introducing the class of 2023's valedictorian. The remarkable Amelia Allen, who will be attending University of Brown University this fall. Amelia, please come forward. Good morning, faculty, family, and my fellow graduates. First, I would like to say a big thank you to my parents and my brother Mason. I couldn't have done any of this without your love and support. I also want to express my gratitude to all my friends, my counselor, and the teachers who helped me get where I am today. Amazement that lights a passion within you. At Bishop O'Dowd, we recognize the idea of awe in the form of joy. Those moments where we feel true meaning, love, and strive toward things greater than ourselves. As high school concludes, we are left with one question. It's that question we get when we run into our mom's friends at the grocery store or when we visit our family during the holidays. It is the question of, what comes next? It's a daunting question. We do all this hard work these past four years. We get to graduation and we realize they actually want us to apply what we've learned and go out into the world. So as you sit here and think, I ask you not to answer the question of what you're doing next, but to focus on the reason why you're doing it. We've all had experiences where we didn't love what we're doing. You know, those times where we let out the universal groan, whether we're cramming an essay at 10 when it's due at 11.59, redoing data for a lab for the thousandth time, or waking up first thing in the morning for sports practice. But more times than not, we have a good reason for why we do these things. These actions we take flourish into a greater purpose. When we uncover the veil behind our actions, we see the answer to this question of why we take the actions we do. It is for the sake of joy. Our call to joy manifests as those special people we work hard for, the friends we want to make smile, during conversation that fills our halls. But the joy we learn at O'Dowd is not a self-indulgent concept, but an atmosphere we strive to achieve for the greater community. At O'Dowd, they teach about Jesus' call to action for all people to work towards the common good. 
We embody this idea every day at O'Dowd in all sorts of unique ways. We play sports, not for our own glory, but to strengthen a team. We perform musicals and play concerts to light up a whole crowd. We help lead mass to unite the school-wide community and share in each other's cultures. We advocate for racial justice and promote the safety of students on campus. And we find ways to make campus more sustainable and students more aware of the tax on our earth. So as you go out, dragons, don't let the world soften your voice. Don't let the world take away your gift to mold communities. Above all, don't let the world chase away your joy. Become that athlete that inspired your love for the sport. Use your comfort in front of crowds to unite an even broader community. Let your passion for the planet bloom into scientific solutions and relief for the vulnerable. And transform your desire for equity and justice into groundbreaking laws. We are a class made up of unique individuals. And like raindrops that accumulate into a storm, these many perspectives blend into a powerful message. So in the sometimes scary and uncertain world, be that raindrop that inspires the storm. Be the person that's unafraid to grow, push boundaries, and most importantly, be unafraid to keep discovering how you can make the world a joyous place. In this moment, we transition from students of the school to alumni. But Odell will remain a foundation of our futures, a foundation for our call to joy. So take time to feel immense pride in this accomplishment. Look back and appreciate these past few years, and most importantly, look to the future and get excited for the next chapter of your lives. Congratulations, class of 2023, and go Dragons! Thank you, Amelia, for your inspiring, excellent talk. Um, now it's my privilege to present the Core Unum Award, which is presented at commencement each year. Um, it's O'Dowd's highest honor, and it's our way to invite a graduation speaker to our commencement. It's given to those individuals whose lives and work embody the core values of leadership, service, social justice, intellectual competence expressed in our school's charism. And this year, I'm pleased to announce that Tracy Borst is our Core Unum Award recipient. Tracy? Tracy is parent to Natalie Monacucci and um, her husband, uh, Robert. Um, they, Natalie graduated in 2015. And we were so fortunate to have Tracy serve on our board from 2014 to 2021 and take on various leadership roles. As a leader, Tracy has given her best to our dad. She's deeply committed to supporting education that prepares young people to make a difference in their communities. She has served as a leadership donor in our dad's most critical fundraising campaigns, including our annual Transforming Lives initiative in support of tuition assistance and the capital campaigns for both the Center for Environmental Studies and the Core Union Campaign to build the Cummins Center. Tracy was also a leading volunteer in that capital campaign and made many uh, personal solicitations for the center project. When I, when I met with Tracy and her husband Robert to invite their investment in the Core Union Campaign, um, she gifted me with, with a pair of socks. And she, um, she explained that these socks that came from Rome, she bought them in a store um, that, that sells clothing to cardinals. And so they're, they're cardinal red socks. <laughs> and my first thought was, well, bishops have nothing on me. I can wear these socks. And, and secondly, I thought, well, these are good luck socks. You know, I'm, I'm at a solicitation for the, for the campaign, so I wound up wearing these socks um, every time I made a, a request for financial assistance for our, for our campaign. So these, these socks are actually $3 million endowed socks. So pretty, pretty lucky there. Um, when I met Tracy, um, we're grateful to Tracy for always bringing a deep sense of mission and purpose and joy to her work. Lots of laughter. Enjoyed working with Tracy immensely. 
O'Dowd is undoubtedly better as an institution because of Tracy Borst's leadership. So please welcome this year's Corium Award recipient, Tracy Borst. So if anybody needs a place to buy ecclesiastical garments or accessories, just see me afterwards. It's a great gift for your favorite Catholic. Uh, thank you, JD, and to the board, uh, my many, many students here on the board. I really appreciate this. I'm humbled and proud, proud to receive this award. I guess I'm going to talk straight into this. Um, you know, this award has made me reflect on the past 10 years as a parent and as a volunteer, and I thought I'd share just a few reflections um, with this class. It was a remarkable class of 2023. So resilient. My goodness. First, Many have said this today, and I just cannot say this enough, especially sitting from where I am as a past parent, um, you have received a special education at O'Dowd. Uh, the foundation of values and the moral compass that you've been provided, you will take with you and use again and again. My daughter and her classmates are now 26 years old, and I see firsthand how they take the essence of what they learned at O'Dowd and apply it every day in their careers and their personal lives. I see them advocating and standing up for themselves and for social justice. I see a level of awareness um, as to the world's challenges and really working to do good for the world. I see this in, in all of you. I see this in my daughter and all our friends that went here. And um, I see the compassion and kindness that was fostered here at O'Dowd. You know, JD talked about my fundraising, and yes, I did ask a lot of people for money, it is true. Um, but I got to work with such a smart, dedicated, mission driven group of people that it was just a privilege, and I am proud of everything that we all accomplished. All of you back here, many of you in the audience. Um, but, you know, we always knew that what we were doing was not just about a building, gorgeous as it is. Um, we knew that that building would have transformative qualities. There would be moments and events that you've already talked about here that would happen in these new four walls. And we knew it would be a place of passion and creativity, discipline and joy. I get so excited. You know, I don't know. I'm like sitting at home on my Instagram and I look for a dad. And I get so excited when I see something and I'm like, look, what they, look, look what they're doing in the new space. It's so exciting. And, uh, or I see something online and just a few examples that I just made, uh, you know, made me smile. Um, of course, cheering on the women, boys, and girls basketball and volleyball teams to championships. Wow. Uh, the first time, at least in, in my history, in your history, that the entire school could come together for assemblies, that was just one of the things we were so excited about. And then myself, for the rest of that, and especially the um, beloved Black Student Union Assembly and Multicultural Assemblies and you know, all of them, um, so special that you could all be together. Um, and how about our cheer team being able to practice in front of a giant mirror in the new studio to get ready for their championship win? That was very cool. Uh, we, we've got our bands and our drama students in state-of-the-art spaces uh, where their own creativity is just flourishing. Um, hey, maybe you were one of the 700 people that went to this new strength and conditioning room and achieved a personal goal. How about that? I know many of you came together, of course, to honor our beloved Mr. Mason at the memorial prayer service. And I'm pretty sure last night's baccalaureate mass was more comfortable than the very hot and very crammed one that I attended in the old gym. I know some of you in here can relate to those masses. And of course, there was the first night rally in the Canals Gym, Super Spy Seniors for the win. 
For me, the building is a metaphor because one thing that I learned in this process and continue to learn over and over again was that when you bring one heart to whatever you're trying to achieve, you can and will make a difference. Each and every one of you have the power to shape the world around you. Regardless of your background, circumstances, or abilities, remember this, you are cap capable of making a profound impact. You see, making a difference is not solely reserved for the chosen few or the extraordinary. It is within the reach of every single one of you sitting here today. And it starts with heart. It starts with small acts of kindness, empathy, and compassion. It grows when you dare to dream big and work hard towards your goals. Your journey here will present, or your journey beyond here, and what did here too, present challenges, setbacks, and moments of self-doubt, just as my own journey did as a volunteer leader at O'Dowd. But remember, it is precisely in those moments that your true strength emerges. I call that, you can count on yourself. You've already done that here. No one gets through high school without overcoming some stuff. Take the lessons you've learned here and let them guide you towards becoming agents of change. Your O'Dowd education taught you to be the voice that speaks up against injustice, the hand that reaches out to lift others up, and the mind that thinks critically to find creative solutions to the world's most pressing problems. Remember, it is not the size of your actions that matters. It is the intention behind them. Every act of kindness comes from the heart. Every endeavor to make a difference contributes to the ripple effect that can touch countless lives. So, class of 2023, I encourage you to believe in your ability to make a difference. Let your actions speak louder than your words and never underestimate the power of your influence. Thank you and best wishes for a future filled with impact. And now, Director of Counseling, Fran Walmerdam, and a academic support liaison and journalism teacher, Damian Barnes, will announce the names of our graduates. We will now award the diplomas. While taking photographs is permitted, we ask that you don't leave your seat to do so. We understand that this is a day of great celebration for our graduates and for our families. Please allow each student and family to hear their name fully and completely so that each student's achievement can be appropriately honored. Now, it is our great privilege to announce that the following students, having fulfilled the academic requirements of Bishop O'Dowd High School, are awarded their diplomas. Cameron Eshelman Stickles. Ola Ajike. Miguel Alaniz, diploma presented by his grandmother, Joan Grell Business Office. Amelia Allen. Kennedy Amos Henderson. Alexander Angstadt. Gavin Antos. Efrain Balesteros. Flynn Baylog.
Julian Barbera. Cecilia Barnes. Christopher Barrera. Jesse Barrientos. Oh. Uh, Johnny Barrow. Tyler Barcy. Row two, please stand. There. Tonya Bowerline Kelly. Ella Bibbo. Diploma presented by their mother, Megan Bibbo, development. Paul Beaner. Trent Bigelow. Sydney Boggs. Charles Bonneville. Moth Borrow. Layla Bowen, diploma presented by her mother, Crystal Bowen, Board of Regents. Lily Branca. Mariah Branscombe. Jonathan Brewer. Iona Bridgman. Miles Brockbank. Anna Brostrom. Giselle Brown, diploma presented by her mother, Namita Brown, member of the Board of Regents. Lily Brown. Sean Bullard, diploma presented by his father, Sean Bullard, O'Dowd coach. Miles Burroughs. Sylvia Buziak. Eileen Caldwell. Nora Caldwell. Lauren Callum. Sierra Camacho. Mary Cantora. Ryan Cartwright. Fred Casey Housend. Harper Casey Housend. Row three, please stand. Neve. Neve Colley. Ava Celentano. Sienna Che. This one is Chetty. I, I know it. Anna Chalberg. Arvin Chetiar.
Cecilia Childs. Diploma presented by her father, President J.D. Childs. Michael Chung. Nanea Seprazo. Elsie Jane Clemens. Ginger Connor. John Cook. Michael Cooley. Fiona Corbett. Sophia Corbett. Asher Cortez. Camille Cote. Mason Cox. Naomi Crane. Natalie Dalton. Eve Danish. Emilio De Palm. Nicholas De Jesse. Andrew Joseph De La Cruz. Noma Danchuku. <laughs> Ellie Diorsi. <laughs> Ava Dioli. <laughs> Nicholas Dittmar. <laughs> Sarah Doe. Row four, please stand. Lauren Dove. Leo Duarte. Lila Dubon. Karen Dunn. Emmy Engelman. Yeah. Clayton Entrican. Yeah. Isabella Esparza Pagano. Yeah. Evangeline Faita. Yeah. Rada Feist, diploma presented by her father, Jay Feist, religion teacher. <laughs> Dylan Feldman. <laughs> Gavin Fenrick. Kiara Fortenberry. <laughs> Nadia Foss. <laughs> Nartan Boskurt Fruit. <laughs> Michael Fuzanati. Elizabeth Gaja. Julia Guyano Blythe. Gianna Calvin.
Ezra Garcia. <laughs> Catherine Galamipur. <laughs> David Gibbs. <laughs> Michael Girma. Julia Glazer. <laughs> Nia Glenn. <laughs> Zaya Goldman. <laughs> Diego Gonzalez. <laughs> Andrea Gonzalez. <laughs> Gabriela Gonzalez. Row five, please stand. Elizabeth Goodwin. Greg Gregory Goyne. Nairi Graham. David Green, diploma presented by his mother, Wanda Holland Green, member of the Board of Regents. Jack Grohl. <laughs> Sophia Gurgi. <laughs> Cole Gamaris. Diploma presented by his father, Arthur Gamaris, member of the Board of Regents. Tobias Hammond. Harry Hahn. Ryan Hahn. Cameron ha Hankins. Mamaya Harrell. Yeah. Irene Harris Odom. Yeah. Ava Hawkins. Yeah. Haley Hayes. Jonathan Hayes. <laughs> Anna Dillo Healy. <laughs> Audrey Helmholtz. <laughs> Finn Hennessy. Spencer Herbert. Yeah. Yeah. Carolina Harold. Yeah. Matisse Evan. <laughs> Layla Hill. Dominic Ho. Travis Huang. Famous Hodgson. 
Row six, please stand. Harry Hollins. Matthew Hoseman. Isaiah Hunter. Isabel Hunsinger. Martine Ibarra. Aryan Imanabadi. Sasha Ingham. Talia Ingham. Max Aramanish. Leila Ismail. Kylie Jackson, diploma presented by her uncle, Kip Adam Facilities. <laughs> Natalia Jamula. <laughs> Savannah Jasper. <laughs> Cameron Johnson. <laughs> Hillary Johnson. <laughs> Patra Johnson. <laughs> Bernard Jones. <laughs> Tamil Jones. John Jordan. Mariah Joy. Connor Young. Miles Young. <laughs> Selena Cora. <laughs> Louisa Kilgore. <laughs> Jenna Kosiniak. <laughs> Nicholas Kisau. Sadie Leahy Tier, row seven, please stand. Jack Larson. Royce Lawson. <laughs> so Lilia, have a daughter in the band. <laughs> Benjamin Lee. Zachary Lee. <laughs> Kaya Levine. <laughs> Anaya Lewis. <laughs> Emma Lewis. Solomon Lezen Schmidt. <laughs> Julia Litsky. <laughs> Annabelle Long. <laughs> Katie Long. <laughs> Ethan Lupa. Gabriella Magnatis. Yeah. 
Carolina Martinich. Jillian Massanat. Gabrielle Mayeda. Mariah Mayfield. Mira McCarthy. Raquel McCollum. Sadie Miller. Evelina Mitchell. Mohamed Mersin. Jacob Monroe. Brooke Moorhead. Ryan Moran. Finn Morris. Owen Muchmore. Olivia Myers. <laughs> Rowan Wynn. Row eight, please stand. Ty Norvell. Yeah, Atticus Novak. <laughs> Zachary O'Callaghan. Ryan O'Donnell. Grace Oakley. Audrey Awobate. Aurelia Wachney. Matthew Orozco. Marco Padilla. Dylan Pago. Diego Palacios. Joaquin Palacios. Imogene Park. Abhinav Padada. Andres Pears. Sophia Petty Dimash. Michael Sam. David Pita. Nathan Pompiani. Charlie Porter. Sylvia Puga. Cole Pugsley. Yawa Kwashi. Nika Quick.
Sophie Rodrigue. Row nine, please stand. Sean Ramirez Pacheco. Ayana Rawson. Lucian Wagner. Nayeli Reyna. Julian Rhodes. Santos Rivera. Nathan Rogers. Willie Rogers. Gracie Rosen. Adeya Missy Rucker. Matthew Ruggiero. Giovanni Sandoval. Emma Santa Cruz. Sachiko Serena. Max Go. Maya Schreiber. Leo Schwenk. Gabriela Selk Anagnos. Sydney Seltzer. Ruby Sexton. Siraj Shabazz, diploma presented by his father, Khalid Shabazz, O'Dowd coach. Aiden Shaw. Sydney Shelton. Ezra Sorensen. Tatiana Spear. <laughs> Nia Stillman. <laughs> Catherine Stoss. John Sullivan, row 10, please stand. Kira Supo. Colin Sweeney. Sydney Timor. Diploma presented by her brother Connor Timor, math teacher. Peter Tanaka. Zachary Tannenbaum. Matthew Tarvin. Danica Turk. Belin Topete. Eva Topete. Eleonora Town. Audrey Trilling. Brett Turner. Cass Oman. 
Harper Valentine. Paige Van Nuys. Miranda Vo. Alexandra Bope. Beckett Votel. Ella Walker. Ryan Walsh. Elijah Warren. Jakari Weeks. Zach Weiss. Nyla Whips. Harrison White. Adoria Whitfield. James Williams. Lincoln Williams. Ryan Williams. MJ Wilson Morris. Ava Wilson. Claude Windross. Dulce Weiner. Ashley Winkler. Joseph Walmart. <laughs> Noah Wong. <laughs> Jaden Yamamoto. James Yee. <laughs> Owen Youngquist. <laughs> Evelyn Zaches. <laughs> Samantha Jazaches. <laughs> Tori Zaches. Graduates, please stand. <laughs> Having conferred on you all of the rights and privileges of a Bishop O'Dowd High School Diploma, we now ask you to conclude the process. Please turn your tassels. Let us congratulate the class of 2023. Congratulations, graduates. If you'll please take a seat for our final benediction. Father Jim, if you will please come forward. Don't worry, guys. We'll get back to partying in just a minute. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Dearest Heavenly Lord and Redeemer, bless these graduates as they go out into the world to do your work of love, of peace, of justice. May they are ever in the presence of the holy and living God as they live good and happy lives. Bless them and their families on this joyous occasion and bless our school community. Amen. In the name of the Father. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I'd like to just do a few announcements. We can turn down the monitors. That's where I'm hearing it. Thank you. There we go. Um, we ask you to remain in your place for the procession, which will begin with the administration on the stage, followed by the faculty, and then our graduates. We ask you to look around so that you do get all of your belongings. Please recycle. Please, um, there are um, bins by the stairs and at the exit over here. Please recycle any paper that you're not taking with you and uh, your water bottles. For the shuttles, um, the uh, buses are down there. There's two buses ready right now that will be heading number four to Assumption. And bus number five, that's on the front of the buses, will be going to Kaleo up at Keller Avenue. We will be turning, coming right back, so we will be able to get everyone back to their cars in a timely manner. And at this time, we invite the faculty, the administration, the staff, and the graduates to stand, and we will begin our recession.